podcast. Convention Center, the 29th Annual Miss USA Pageant. From the whole of this great USA, of the Hong Kong. To our winner, over $75,000 in cash and prizes. Sailing through the waters of the bay, Miss USA, Miss USA. Lighthouse, you get a truly panoramic view of the Mississippi Gulf Coast and of the lovely city of Biloxi. Good evening. I'm Mary Therese for 1979 Miss USA. But from up here, I can't show you the excitement this building at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum and Convention Center, where tonight a new Miss USA will be chosen a crown. Let's go there now and join Jane Kennedy. Thank you, Mary. You know, just before a Super Bowl game or any big competition, the tension begins to build as the start of the event goes closer. And everybody feels it, both in the audience and backstage. Our hosts, Bob Barker and Helen O'Connell, are busy with last-minute preparations. And so is our special guest, Donny Osmond. Seated next to the computer terminals, our judges are ready to start making their decisions, which will result in the selection of the new Miss USA. And the excitement is felt most by the girls themselves, who know that one of the most important evenings of their lives is about to begin. In fact, it's gonna start right now. And here they are, from each of the 50 states and the District of Columbia, the most beautiful girls in the USA. Special guest tonight is one of America's favorite singers. <laughs> Reporting on our computer results, the beautiful actress and the hostess of CBS's NFL Today, Jane Kennedy. And our host, the beautiful and talented singing star, Helen O'Connell. star of The Price is Right and one of America's favorite television personalities, Bob Parker. <laughs> Escorting and serenading our ladies, here are members of the United States Marine Corps and the Naval Air Training Command Choir.
you and welcome to one of America's favorite vacation lands, the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And just in case the southern accents and the magnolia trees didn't convince me I was in the deep south, let me tell you that to get from my hotel to this coliseum each day, I have to pass the former home of Jefferson Davis. I mention this, I mention this so you'll know when I say hello from Dixie that we are really in Dixie. We really are. And... And from all 50 states and the District of Columbia, young women have gathered here tonight so that one of them might be chosen Miss USA 1980. To the winner goes more than $75,000 in cash and merchandise, plus the opportunity to represent the United States when young women from some 80 countries compete for the title of Miss Universe in Seoul, Korea on July 7th. Now, we know that everyone looking in is either rooting, judging, or both. And this is an ideal evening for you would-be judges because you'll not only see everything that our judges here see, but you'll have access to information they won't have. We'll explain a little later how that works. But for now, judges here and at home too, let's meet our 51 candidates wearing their state costumes in the Miss USA Parade of States. Fairbanks, Alaska. Janine Ford, Gilbert, Arizona. Susie Owens, Jacksonville, Arkansas. Jerry Lloyd, Thousand Oaks, California. Shelly Mark, Fulton, Colorado. Christine Wilson, Farmington, Connecticut. Karen Jobby, Hookhudson, Delaware. Marion Ritter, District of Columbia. Barbara Bowser, Miami Springs, Florida. April Reed, Augusta, Georgia. Carol Ching, Kamioi, Hawaii. Marta Vincent, Boise, Idaho. Nebraska. Kimberly Guider, Las Vegas, Nevada. Eva Dyer, Amherst, New Hampshire. Jody Piper, Franklinville, New Jersey. Kathy Patrick, Anthony, New Mexico. Deborah Sue Maurice, New York City, New York. Lori Boggs from Kannapolis, North Carolina. Kimberly Thompson, Minot, North Dakota. Kim Thomas, Cincinnati, Ohio. Martha Stratton. beautiful ladies, one of them will be Miss USA of 1980. <laughs> 